I don't think this booth needs any special introduction. We're at Steam Group's booth at Pompitex 2025. We have new memory modules, we have new SSDs, uh, internal, external, and some AI stuff as well, which we'll of course cover. And uh, basically, I think it's time to go inside because when you take a look how much stuff we have to cover this year, it's going to be quite interesting. So let's go. So right at the beginning, what we have here are T-Force uh, CKD DDR5 series, which some of them have the camouflage design, some of them are more into like um, Star Wars design. Then we have this snake design and you know what's my favorite one, the gold and black, but let's be honest, you can put this one in any type of color because it's RGB. And then finally we have 8,000 megahertz, 64 gigs capacity with CKD on laptops. That's also outstanding. And finally, when we go with desktop memory with the special editions, the CKD non-RGB, which look like more like a silverish design towards going something like purple silver as well. Now let's go for further because what we have next is quite interesting in terms of we have the Narvik Black Extreme ARGB, which go with high capacity. So these ones go up to four times 64 gigs and they go up to 7200 megahertz. Now with the Z5, which goes up to 14,000 megabytes read and the 12,000 megabytes write, it kind of creates a, a build that is on high capacity in terms of RAMs because the SSD is two and four terabytes and the Z5, this one spe specifically, unfortunately doesn't have the run cache. So yeah, that's a bit something else to discuss, but in general, what the main goal here is 64 gigs per module up to 256 gigs in total right here and it works. Now this setup right here is specifically dedicated for overclocking. Now what we have right here is again, of course, uh, Narvik Black Extreme DDR5. These ones aren't RGB, but we're talking here about CL48 at 10,266 megahertz. So basically you can go beyond 10,000. And this is more like a overclocking station in that sense. We again have the Z5, but this one, this has a uh, Duran cache, goes from kit capacity from one, two and four terabytes. In general, when you compare this set to the other set that I showed you, this one goes more into overclocking performance, the other one goes more into storage performance. There we go with something completely new. This is their T-Force ME Pro SSD, which has the run cache, 3D TLC NAND, uh, capacity is 4 terabytes, and it goes up to 14,000 megabytes read and write up to 12,000 megabytes. The interesting thing is it has the SMI SM2508 controller, which means that this shouldn't heat up. This should be quite interesting to test out. Of course, they're testing it out here in the laptop, but again, if you want to have it in your PC, why not? It's running on lower thermals and it's quite logical. So we have the G Pro right here, which you've seen the reviews already. And of course, as per usual, I'll link it down in the description. We have Integrit IG5666. And as you know, you have to use the Dark Airflow one to cool it down, but you get insane speeds. 14,000 megabytes per second read and write up to 11,800 megabytes per second. So these are the two setups that uh, are discussing. We have up to eight terabytes for the GE Pro, which of course we go with large uh, capacity. And then with the ME, we go with ultra low latency with 27 uh, microseconds. Now I did mention right uh, before the ME Pro, but we have also the MA Pro, which is somewhat similar to GA Pro when we're talking about the speeds, but the thermals are different because we're having the same controller. We're talking about SMI SM2508, uh, and this basically shouldn't need an extra uh, active cooler. The GE, GC, and GA Pro actually do need, and you always go with the Dark Airflow one, quite logical. And for the GE, GC, and GA Pro, they made a quite nice solution. We're talking about the AI cooler, which consists of uh, active and passive parts, but also we have fan, as I said, fan heatsink and thermoelectric uh, cooling chip that actually cools better, what I heard, than the Dark Airflow one. So this is going to be quite interesting, and I'm quite curious how this actually performs in real life. So I don't have any benchmarks or here or any type of thermals that I can see. But in general, this could be quite interesting because it's much smaller, it still has an active fan, and should perform much better. So this could be also uh, very, very uh, popular in terms of cooling the Gen 5 SSDs. 
and then we have a liquid solution as well which you can see 120 cooling down 3 m2 ssds and what we saw well, i would say two years ago with their aao combination for the cpu and for the uh, m2 ssd now to be honest i didn't expect to see uh, team group producing a right external ssd enclosure which basically comes with two bays and uh, this could be quite interesting as well because i think you could come fit here a hard drive as well but regardless of that what we have right here is read write speeds up to 1000 uh, megabytes per one gigabyte per second there is no possibility to place a uh, non flash inside or kit capacity in general it's still uh, maybe unknown i don't actually know but we have the t create ai master here which is a ut u2 pcie gen 5 ssd which connects with sas connection and uh, that could be also quite interesting if it's possible to pair up with this, not quite sure yet, but uh, let's see what the future brings. Now, when we're talking about the master AI DDR5, these are for the workstation memories. Uh, frequency is up to 60, 7600 megahertz with kit capacity at 64 gig, gigs. But when we go to the other side, what we get is uh, more capacity. We're talking about massive storage. The, uh, you can go with 64 terabytes of storage and up to 512 gigabytes in total. It could be quite interesting for you guys that actually do need a workstation such as this with such huge capacity storage and this will definitely be something like optimized uh, workstation, uh, seamless flow and using for AI intelligence or whatever you're aiming to use your workstation in general. But in terms of storage, this is something that brings out a load of capacity for you to use entirely. Right now we have something which is more in a cinema PR segment. So storage SSD for professional cameras. On the far right, we have the P36D, which is an external SSD in all-in-one efficient workflow, which gives you an option to have a storage dock station for mobile video creators that you can place a cage on top. You can place lights on the cage and anything similar to that. But it gives you an option with loads of uh, two uh, USB type C's. We have an output as well. Then when we go a bit closer, what you can see right here is you have one input here on the other side as well. You can seamlessly connect it to your iPhone and basically some nice construction in terms of making it more approachable and more easy to use. Then when we go right here, what we have is again PD36D uh, and you can see you have HDMI out. Two USB-C ports, you have input right here. The possibility to clip your microphone here on the side, possibility to mount uh, your mobile phone, and of course the output if you decide to uh, connect anything else in that segment. And you're already familiar with the P31, which I covered last year, and that's basically it for the cinema uh, cameras. We're talking here about the Create Expert P34F, which is find my external SSD. And the cool thing about it is, as you can see it from up close, the storage device that has a positioning and searching function. It has integrated Apple Find My support and built-in speaker for audio location alerts. So if you can't locate your SSD in any sense, and if you're 30 meters close, you can tap on your phone and it basically starts beeping. So it's kind of recognizable sound for the Find My devices in general. Also, you can replace the battery for power independence and it's lightweight housing with 70 grams. So we're having here USB 3.2 generation 2 times 1 type C storage from 512 gigs to 1 and 2 terabytes with speeds, read speeds going up to 1000 megabytes and write speeds up to 900 megabytes. Now, you know, the player on the right, that's PD20M Mag, which I reviewed just recently. Then we have the new one PD20M Mag Plus, which has the USB 3.2 generation 2 times 2 type C with uh, 500 gigs options as well compared to the uh, PD20M Mag and uh, also the same speeds, but it's made out of a uh, post-consumer uh, recycled plastic. So that's a cool option as well for you guys that want to have something a bit different, different storage, uh, same speeds, but then again, thinking about the environment. Right here, we have loads of new options. And in terms of, we have PD40, PD20 and PD10. PD10, is basically the slowest when you take into consideration read the write speeds up to 1000 megabytes per second then we go with pd20 which is 2000 and 4000 with usb 4.0 type c at the top and we have storage one two and four terabytes in all three scenarios finally we go with uh, x2 max this is a new compared to x1 max 
which can be placed and connected to your PS5. And of course, at the top, what we have is uh, Apex SD 7.1 micro SD express memory card, storage 128, 256, and 512 gigs, which is designed for Switch. More into the Echo products, PD100, which is a bit bulkier, but it goes up to 8 terabytes of storage, which speeds up to read and write 1000 megabytes per second. And PD20 Echo, I think we covered that one. I don't know if this is specifically new one, but I remember it was different color scheme. 1, 2, and 4 terabytes, USB 3.2 generation 2 type 1. And the Echo products, Delta and Vulcan, which you already seen on my channel. Reviews are in the description, so you can check out more details about that. So basically, if you're a James Bond, you're going to go with this one. This is Expert P35S, which is, as they stated, destroyed portable SSD. Now, with a push of this upwards, it basically destroys all the chips and you can recover your data, of course. But if you somehow lose it or something happens, specifically designed for journalists, agents, agents, secret agent, man, creators and well defense use what to say guys i mean you've seen loads of new stuff new uh, external ssds secret uh, agent man ssd as well i would say something like a james bond ssd that you can simply uh, destroy your whole data but then we're going more into ai with large storage capacity uh, in terms of ssds and in large terms of rams in terms of going with loads of memory sticks, 256 gigs working simultaneously without any problems, or even those that are going up to 512 gigs. That's outstanding. Low latency. And then finally, what you have are those special editions. I'm not quite sure if they'll be releasing those when we're talking about Expert DDR5, but in general, interesting products. And the ones that are reviewed, you can find them in the description below, without a doubt, uh, just for you to expand and get more uh, into details regarding the thermals for the SSDs, the speeds for the RAMs and the SSDs. And in general, I'm quite looking forward to the new Gen 5 SSDs that they just presented. And as well, as I mentioned earlier, the AI LLM training with uh, large capacity. So guys, thanks for uh, checking everything out and we'll see you quite shortly in a new one. Bye bye.